Hello, my fellow penguins, and welcome to Dungeon Defenders. Now, this game is a hybrid of tower defense and hack and slash RPG, and pretty much the most amazing thing I have played in a long time. So, I am starting off a new character just for this, for the first episode anyway. He'll be a knight, who are... They specialize kind of in very good towers and walls for keeping enemies at bay. They do pretty decent damage, but, you know, not the greatest. So, being as it's far easier to play this game than it is to explain this game, <laughs> I think I'll get started here. Now, as you can see on this first map, there are three lanes. And along each of these lanes, enemies will come every round. That's what I want to do. Hmm. I still haven't actually played with the warrior yet, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm setting that one right. But it should be pretty good. And that should have that. And that should have that. Need your level 4 upgrades. Oh, well then. I guess I'm doing more towers. Sometimes the tricky part is getting them to sit right. Um, yeah, there. There. I think that'll work. I should probably just be putting them on the ground, but screw your rules. I've got low levels. <laughs> Once I level up to the point where I get my barricade, this will become much easier to set up for tactics. Now, there was the boring part. Let's get the fun going. Combat phase. Which lane is getting the most? Well, I am least confident of the middle lane's defenses. Let's see first. Yeah, I think I'm just... Oh. It really is pretty much only coming through. Oh, no. Let's see. My defenses weren't really set up that... Ooh. That is laggy. This might not be recordable after all. Haha! <laughs> I am... the Reaper. Fear me. Mm. I hope this lag isn't as real as it looks. Oh yeah, I forgot I brought my Cat Hatter with me. So I'm not exactly fighting as a level one. I've got a pet. Hold on. The little green cat floating beside me. He shoots stuff. <laughs> Rather effectively, may I add. Murder, murder, death, kill, murder. Murder all of you. Yes. You cannot withstand my fury. And level up. And here you can see there actually is a stat set thing. Oh, I meant to. Okay. <clears throat> so you can build your characters different ways. In this case, I'm going to be building mine for tankiness. Pure tankiness. So, I still don't have walls. Which means my best bet is going to be to add more cannons. They're only 30 apiece, so unless I reach build limit, which I don't exactly... They do need to add something that tells you what build limit really is. At least in my honest opinion. 
because without that, it's kind of you're just placing and hoping that it doesn't end up at the limit before you're where you want. There, that should be fine. Collect more manas. And don't worry about all these items laying around. I've got my bag set to auto collect, so. And they all look like they're white, so no. That's actually yellow. Well then. Equipment. Doesn't really change on the character because, you know. If it did, then there wouldn't be, uh. What's what I'm looking for here? Aesthetic, there we go. Wouldn't be used for the aesthetic elements. Weapons, however, do show up. Oh, he actually equips the shield separately from the sword. Well then. Do we got every- no. One more tower and then we'll start the next round. Still can't upgrades. I still have a lot of mana though. Hmm. Well then, in case I fudged it again, cannons, cannons everywhere. Deploy all of the cannons. And that is still nowhere near all of my mana. Um, I do apologize this build phase is taking so long. It really... I I'm not even placing these tactically, this is just how long it can take to set up for a round if you want to spend your man out at early levels. As you level up, you gain the ability to put mana into upgrading the turrets and all that, and then it's not so much a case of trying to figure out where to place all of your turrets. I think I'll go down the center lane for murder kills. Death for you! I have come for your lives. Is anything making it past these? No. They're making it to them, though. Here, have some murder. I am sure that defend button comes in handy at some points. But right now, I'm just fighting gobos. Now, who's afraid of a gobbo? Come on. Death for all of you. I could almost camp you in your spawns. Death, death, and death, and more. Death! Is that a... Yes. Oh. Might as well gloves. Might as well boots. They're slightly better than having nothing. And that. Mm. Do I really need more turrets? I don't think it's so much about needing as I'm going to build more turrets. There, there. Well, let's put another... There. And. There. I don't know if that one's gonna work. I'm pretty sure that one's not gonna work. Oh well. Oh! Boss coming from this line. Oh. Not really boss so much as. Level boss? No. Lane boss? I think it's lane boss would be the best way to describe it. 
Now, if I'm correct and that's your swing radius, then that should be fine. If I'm not correct on what that means, then I boobarred it. In which case, you know, well, let the games begin. Maximum turrets deployed. <laughs> yes, cannons. Destroy the goblins. Make dead of them. So the only lane I should have to worry about right now is the boss lane. Okay, here's probably where this is going to come in handy. Wave attack! Haha! <laughs> you cannot break my defense. Ow, you broke my defense. I guess my block just isn't that good. Huh. So, Warrior isn't as tanky as I suspected Warrior to be. But, I can revive. No harm done. Collect some... Ooh. As you can see, you get really cool looking gear. Some of it, not really worth collecting, because of stats, RNG and all that. But still, some really awesome gear. And boom! Victory! Come on, good chest! Ah, oh, green chest. These chests seem to come in the same rarity as items. I'm pretty sure it's purely random what chest you get, but uh, yeah, green chest is as bad as it gets. But, still, loot is loot, right? Right. So make sure I've collected all of the... Are no coins dropped this entire round? Huh. First map, not good for coins. Ah, there were a few. And there's a few more. Okay. So, I will pop back to the tavern and then bring you back. And now that we're back in the tavern, let's give it a check, see if we got anything worth having. Physical resistance 4, defense health and hero health up. Those would be good. Defense power and critical damage up. Retribution 20% chance when damage deal 90 to Ooh. Huh. That is a tough one. This only resists magic damage, though, so that makes that better. He's going to be a primary fighter, right? Um, I think so. And that's where it gets hard. You gotta figure out exactly what you want to build your hero as. In order to figure out what to equip them with. Because as you can see, like here you got magic resistance 4, hero resistance 3. And the shield that I've got on has hero health up with a small hero health resist <coughs> physical resistance boost. And then the green and up seem to all have a uh, little bonus ability down there, like defense critical chance. Harden. Oh. Oh. The powerful shield has, a, has physical resistance increased by 49. And you see, if I wouldn't have noticed that... I would have still thought that this one was better, but it's not. Now, Relic. What do we want to go with? Defense health? Defense power? You see, you got your totems, your medallions, and your rings. Rings tend to boost, like, your character's abilities. The medallions tend to increase the power of your defenses, and the totems tend to increase the defense of your defenses. So, it's really all about figuring out what you're building for. Being as I'm going for defense health, I should pull a totem. That makes the most sense for me. 
Let's see, should he? Should he? Hmm. I want damage, but at the same time, I want to get my health defenses up. So that goes up. Yeah, whites are pretty much never as good as greens. Just like any other game, the rarer the loot, the better the loot. Now, no having to go to stores to sell it. Boom. So with that, I do believe I will end the episode. So, if you like this, be sure to leave a like. You know, show me that you want to see more of this series. If you would like to be informed when my content comes out slap that subscribe button if you would like to see anything uh, have any suggestions stuff like that don't be afraid to leave it down in the comment section but regardless of what you decide to do I will see you in the next video bye